Good afternoon there, Internet. If you've ever wondered why you can't cold start the Soulmade DHC2 Beaver, I'm here to tell you why. This plane is study level. It doesn't say that necessarily in the description when you buy it, but it is. I did not realize that when I bought this plane. If you've ever wondered why you sit all the switches, do everything you should, and the plane just is not starting, it is because it is cold. There is a way, a couple of ways to do it. You can go to start engines to running, which we are not going to click, and I do have my flashlight so you can see me, uh, what I'm looking at here. And we do have another thing here when you click on O, there's a engine preheat option which will warm the whole plane up to the point to where you can just hit the starters and it'll fire as, like, as if the plane was just running. But if you don't want to be cheaty about it, um, this is the way you do it. You have to start the plane as if it was a real plane. So what we do is, we have the prop all the way up, we are going, oops, got a new joystick, uh, using an X56 now and I'm getting used to it. We bring the mixture all the way up, and uh, forgive me if my, oops, I need to get rid of the yoke, and if you don't know how to get rid of the yoke on this, there's a, where you see the DHC2 right here, there's a little screw on the dash. You, just to the upper left of that, you click that, and the uh, yoke disappears. What we're going to do is, first you select a, and which switch is it? There we go. Select a, the front tank, or any tank that you would prefer. And then we go down to the, boop, 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 over here, this red lever right here that is a wobble pump. This uh, other handle over here, which has a black handle, that is your kill switch, which shuts off fuel, oil, everything, and it works, but you don't want to do that. But first, we are going to turn carb heat on. There's this lever you have to drag up to turn it on, and then you have to turn the, uh, there we go, turn, turn the valve all the way up. You might not have to do this, but we're going to do it anyway because you can get icing in any condition. But this is the wobble pump right here, this red lever. If you look at the gauges where I'm putting the little red light uh, below the temp gauge here, upper left gauge, out of the three gauges here there's one on the lower right It has fuel. That's basically line pressure and right in the middle, about 3 o'clock, there's a little green line around 5. You have to have that at that point to start the plane. Now the boost pump switch brings it up to that point, but we're not going to use the boost pump switch. I'm not even sure if this plane has a boost pump switch in real life. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go down here and I'm going to have to adjust my view so we can see that gauge. And it is a little dark, I've tried to adjust the uh, time of day but I can't get it any better. We are going to grab this and we are going to wiggle that and uh, up and down, up and down until it's around 3.30, there we go. There we go, it's at 5, that's how you do it in the real plane. Now we go over down here, just left into the below the seat. There's a primer. We click that about five times. Three, four, five. There we go. That is uh, primed. And also in the real plane, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but usually, if you have to do this in the sim, you bring the throttle up and down. A few times, even when the plane's warm, you uh, usually do that like an old car, and then you bring it back up to about there. We're at full mixture, full prop. And uh, ex excuse my uh, random clickies. There is a glitch on the prop. You'll see it when we start it up. There's just I haven't figured a way around it. 
you make sure your magnetos are still off. Magnetos on is the last thing you do other than turning the alternator and avionics on. You click the battery. Once everything's all fired up, you hit the starter, you let it crank about five times, you know, five five rare rares, and then you take grab the magneto and you throw them both on. And that's what we're about to do. Two, three, four, five. And there's the glitch. <laughs> And then once the plane's fired up, you bring it back to about half mixture. Turn the alternator on, radios on, any of the lights you wish. And then we uh, increase the throttle to about a little under half. And then you sit here and you wait to, for your cylinder temp to get into the blue range. You let the plane warm up. Because this is a study level aircraft, you do want to let it warm up. And over revving the plane uh, will cause problems after a while. So you have to watch that. And this plane is a little bit weird to fly. It, don't be flying around at like half throttle. It's this is the way this plane is. But if you've ever wondered why you can't start this plane without cheating, that's why. This is a study level aircraft, surprisingly. It's not advertised as one, I don't believe, but it is. Even cranking the motor improperly will raise the temperature a little bit and it'll start coughing and it's, it's an incredible plane, it really is. But there we go. That's how you start the DHC-2 Beaver. I'm not sure if you have to do things like pump the throttle or not, but you, that's how you do it in real life. I actually got online, looked up a, a video of a guy actually telling you how to start the real plane, which is what we just did. I came in, tried it, it worked. So there you go. That's how you start the Soul Made, anyway. DHC2 Beaver and X-Plane 11. I uh, hope you uh, found this useful, and uh, I'll see you on the next one, and fly safe, everybody. Thanks.